And that's gone. There it is. Ace to win the set. It's caught. 20-10. Touchdown. This is going to be in the gap. Yes! Oh, yes! yes! Goal! Go to the flexor. Yes! The Denver Huskies win their first state championship. Hey, good evening and welcome back to... Good evening and welcome to Andover High School as uh, we here at QCTV we have Friday night bas boys basketball. We've got the Hibbing Blue Jackets in town taking on the Andover Huskies. Huskies coming in with a 17 and 13 record coached by Jeremy Habel. And uh, he is in his third year, 51 and 31. As, uh, the Andover Huskies are getting announced the uh, starting lineup. Cameron Begali, Alex Paquette, uh, Kapetsky, Luke Denicky, number 11. He will be the mi big man in the middle, averaging a double-double. Luke Felton. And uh, the, uh, the final is uh, the uh, senior Mike Deeshin, Mikey Deeshin, who is uh, in here tonight as the Huskies are a little banged up. They've got uh, a couple of uh, uh, folks that are out. Uh, Shaw uh, couldn't stay. Uh, Eddie Miles was sick. So we, uh, we'll we see how that goes. The uh, Hibbing uh, team comes in with a 2-16 and 16 record. Tom Ani is the coach. Uh, Tom uh, comes in uh, it's his second year, he's, but he's been with the program a long time. In fact, graduated uh, and uh, started coaching back in 1992. This is his second year as a head coach. Uh, that Ani, the last name sounds familiar? Well, it should. It is uh, Matt Ani's brother, the longtime coach of the Andover Huskies. And we're ready to go. Once again, my name is Jim Childs. I'm joined with uh, uh, Tua Chang and uh, uh, Anthony here. And back at the mothership, we've got uh, Mark and Tyler. We're ready for the jump. And uh, Luke Denicky takes it and gets it back to Kapetsky. Alex Kapetsky with it as he gets into front court. McCauley back to Paketsky. To Paketsky. And uh, shot from Kapetsky. That one's off the back iron, goes off the backboard, and uh, it'll be. Hibbing the Blue Jackets with the ball. Like I said, they come in 2-16. Uh, uh, Drew Foyer, uh, four. Uh, Finley Carey and Adam Reckmeyer, and along with Ethan Ani up there. And uh, the one to watch out is number 33. They battle between Denneke and uh, Ray Brow. Brow, a freshman. Both are 6'6", Danneke and Brow 6'6", both averaging a double-double, 16 points uh, for Brow and 10 rebounds along with uh, Danneke with uh, 15 points and 12 rebounds. Danneke set two school records so far this season with uh, rebounds. Last one was 19. Shot uh, from floor. That one's a little short. Picked up by Begali. Begali brings it up, surveys around, gets it over to Fenton. Pass back, Begali with it, gets it down to Deeshan. Deeshan gets a push and keeps it. Fenton with a three. That one's a little strong and collected and uh, stepped out as uh, Carey was trapped by Deeshan and Kopetsky. So Huskies get the ball back, 17.02 left, no score. Deshaun gets it down to Denneke. Denneke back to Deshaun. Kvetsky from that drives. Back to Deshaun. Deshaun with the three. And he flushes that one. First points. And foul on Denneke, his first. That one comes as Adam Reckmeyer got into the front court, the 6'5 sophomore. Now, 2-6, six, uh, 16, not a great record so far for the Blue Jackets, but boy, I tell you, young team. Uh, you know, Brow, a freshman, you've got Reckmeyer. Deshaun with the steal again. Deshaun with energy, and uh, the steal gets it down to, to Danneke. Danneke shot a little off balance. That one doesn't hit anything, but uh, a hitting player. So Reckmeyer with the... With the 
stop. Deshaun over to Deneke. Deneke puts it down. So five. Nothing so far. The uh, JV game was not close. And Steele again, Fenton with it. He's got Begali with it. Begali up and uh, puts it through. Seven. And a timeout called by Tom Ani. Hibbing's coming in, uh, coming off a loss of 55 to 50, loss to Grand Rapids. They have played one 4A school now. They're a 3A school, both in Section 7. One's in 3A, one's in 4A. The Blue Jackets uh, lost to the Bemidji Lumberjacks 69-58 earlier this year. The Huskies coming in off... A uh, loss to Maple Grove at Maple Grove. Uh, real encouraging loss if there can be, as uh, Coach Hable mentioned, that uh, a lot of good things happened in that, uh, in that game and uh, also coming off a strong win, a section win at Forest Lake, who was leading the section. So um, they are on a seven out of nine road uh, uh, away games. And uh, now they're going to finish up the season with uh, quite a few home games. Hibbing in the front court. And that's where gets it over to Brow. Back to Reckmeyer. Down to Brow. Brow against Danicky. Three ball, a little long. That's taken by Kapetsky. Kapetsky over to Begali. Begali slows it down. Deshaun over to Fenton. Health is starting to come along for both teams. Fenton. Petsky over to Begali. Begali with the three. And he gets. And it is uh, now 10 0 with the Huskies' second and three. Carey. With Deeson all over, Brow with it, goes up against Fenton. And Deneke tries to save it as he dives into the Huskies bench, steps out as uh, is in. Jackets, one, Jackson, so Evan Bowden back in, uh, uh, Jack Bottoms and Finn Eskley in for the Blue Jackets. 1 foul so far that one's on the Huskies. Brow with it back to four. Drops it to Bottoms, Bottoms. Takes it, gets it over to Bauer, but again Deshaun comes up with it. Long outlet pass. And a layup. Kapetsky. His first two of the night. Deshaun with the foul here. 12 nothing. Huskies on a run right to start the game. And we are uh, about three minutes and uh, 41 seconds in. Eskelly loses the ball, gets it back over to Bowden. And Bowden, Bolden with the first two points. Begali into Kapetsky. That one, he gets hit on the hand as Evan Bolden draws the foul, and that will uh, send Kapetsky to the line. Kapetsky came in with an 11.8 points per average, points per game average so far. That name sounds familiar. Ben Kapetsky, one of the leaders of the uh, Huskies for the last couple of years, now playing down at... Concordia St. Thomas, or Concordia, Concordia St. Paul. Getting quite a bit of playing time and representing the Huskies and uh, the Bears well. Into the front court comes Hibbing. Four. Drops it for Bottoms. Bottoms circles. Fetting on him. 
Drives in to the trees, blocked by Deneke, and that goes back to Hibby. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Inbound will come from Escalip. Over to Bra Brow. And nice play by Deneke. Gets it up to Deshaun. And Deshaun tries to get it over to Begali. Begali was just about to step out of bounds. He controlled the ball and gets over Fenton. Fenton from the corner. That one rims out. And Hibbing brings it up to the front court again as uh, for right there. Again, Brow with it. Drops it to Eskley. Nowhere to go. Begali just steals it. And gets fouled as he comes up for the layup. Danike right behind there. Danike's having an outstanding senior season. He's been a rebounding machine defensively, uh, extremely active and, and taking it on. And Ethan Eskely and Reckmeyer back in. Reckmeyer back in after he was a starter. Took a couple of minutes out. We're, Huskies with a 13-point lead here. Begali at the line. He's able to roll in that second one. Up 16 to two right now. Reckmeyer. And foul on Kapetsky. A reach in. Good crowd on here and here in Friday nights here in Andover. Hibbing with a three-hour drive down. Brow tries to get the pass. Danike up to Begali. Begali up. Off the rim. Collected by Eskely, Finn Eskely. He's trapped. He's able to get it over to Reckmeyer. Reckmeyer gives some direction. The 6'5 sophomore drives in. Nice little pass down to Bottoms. And Jack Bottoms gets his first two points. Begali from the corner. That one's short. Deshaun drives in. He gets hacked. I believe that will be on uh, Ethan Eskely. So both teams stuck at uh, three fouls apiece. Deshaun from top of the key gets it over to Begali. Begali over to Fenton. Fenton with the three. That's short. Fenton again throws it up again. That one rims out. Deshaun with a nice offensive rebound. Kapetsky tries and runs into Ethan es Eskely again. That'll be his second foul. Huskies controlling the pace of the game. Capacity inbound. Deshaun sets it up. And another foul. That'll be on Ray Brow. The talented freshman. Doesn't look like a freshman. Bexel will come in for Ethan Eskley as uh, he'll sit down with two fouls. Deneke gets around Brow, pushes it up. Brow comes down with a rebound. Strong rebound as uh, had a couple of Huskies bracketing Eskley over to Bexel. Bottoms back to Eskley. Eskley drives. Nice little floater drops. Deshaun up to Kapetsky. And a nice move, and 
and Denneke with the his now got four points. Nice pass from Cameron Begali. Breckmeyer. Deshaun with a foul. I think that, that'll be his second. So Schmidt comes in. Owen Schmidt comes in along with Levi Strang for the Huskies. Shot by Bottoms. True. Eighteen to nine now. Huskies started out with a twelve-point run, and now still stolen away again. Escalie, yeah, gets fouled hard by Cameron Begali. That was one against one v one in uh, uniform numbers. One v one. Escalie will go to the line. He gets the first one. And gets both of them. Eskely now with four points. A little press and some pressure. Begali gets it across the line just in time. Down to... Danicky, Danicky. Not able to get through. Brow with some nice defense. And Danicky tries to jump the, the route. Brow can't get it. And Begali now. Now it's a scramble for it. Begali's able to get a little touch off the glass. And Be Cameron Begali. Now with nine points. Ben Eskely with a nice little drive past Begali, and he answers. 20 to 13 right now, Huskies. Owen Schmitz down to Denneke. Over to Strang, Strang to three. Rips it. Levi Strang with his first points of the night. That's a three ball. Ben Eskley drops it over for Bexell. Bexell hounded by Kapetsky from the stripe. Eskley again. Now with eight points. The junior. And a little sloppy on the pass. Eskley again with uh, another two points. So this 12-point uh, run that started has now diminished down to six-point lead for the Huskies, and they lose it again. Stolen another turnover by the Huskies. Bottoms tries to get through. He's able to. Cuts it to four. Blue Jackets. Pressure. Comes in. Levi Strang answers with a nice three. Elevates it to the lead to seven. That's his second three. Owen Schmidt jumps in front of that pass. Bottoms able to get it back. Kopetsky with the, with the steal. Kopetsky. And just about a beautiful... Little loop over to Luke Denneke, and he gets the harm. He'll try the three-point play. Ray Brow. Going against it. He, he went up. And so Denneke goes to the line. And he gets the roll, it extends the lead to 10. 
Eddie Miles, who was uh, fighting a little uh, sickness earlier in the week, now in. Not seen Eden Shaw. We know that he's uh, battling. Mendry, uh, three. That one's off the back iron. Miles can't get it. Bottoms with a good re but strong rebound and kick. We'll reset the uh, shot clock to 20. Still hibbing ball. 7.05 left here in the first half. Huskies by 10. That'll be a foul on Strang. Huskies foul is number 22. He'll be back straight in his first 16 foul. Both teams sitting with six fouls now. Need to get it in, able to get it over to two, four, four. With the three. A little strong. Miles with it, up to Strang. Strang tries to tread the pass over to Schmitz, but finds Fenton. Fenton with the three, nothing but the bottom of the nets. Lead now extended to 13, Huskies. Jump ball, and that will be in favor of Hibbing. Jump ball, possession error in favor of the Blue Jackets. In the game for Hibbing, number four, Finley Carey. Hibbing's been to state 11 times. Last time was 2021. Had some strong graduations in the last couple of years. Aiden McDonald, one of them, playing at UMD. All-time leading scorer, scorer for the Blue Jackets, over 2,400 points scored. Drew Ford picks up his dribble, gets it down to Brow. Brow with a nice, some nice footwork, gets it to Eddie Miles up in the air, and able to get the foul. Shooting one shot, number 33, Ray Brow. Brow. This is the three point opportunity. Kopetsky loses it. Owen Schmidt's battling, gets it over to Kopetsky. Kopetsky drains it. Huskies now with five threes. Brow muscles up. Miles with the rebound. Outlet to Fenton. Fenton drives in. Brow with the rebound. This freshman going end to end. He able to go rim to rim. He's a underneath, and he gets two points. And now sitting with four. Fenton. The sharpshooter gets it over to Owen Schmitz. Schmitz, a little short. Rebound collected by the Blue Jackets. Coming to the front court, Drew Four. Hands it off to Carey. Brow with Miles. A nice little left hand, gets the foul, and uh, count the hoop. The 6'6 freshman once again came in with uh, 16 points per game, 10 rebounds. And number four, Mikey Deshin at the line for the Blue Jackets, shooting one shot, number 33, Ray. Huskies uh, get in their st starting lineup back in. It's Danike Deshaun and Kopetsky back in. Kopetsky into the front court. Golly over to Deshaun. Deshaun from the corner. That's a little short. Good rebound. Kopetsky. That one's short. And Brow with it. Brow running the floor. And gets fouled by Kopetsky. That'll be two shots. 
is the eighth foul on the Huskies so far. We're 4.32 left here in the first half. Huskies lead by nine. They've led as much as 13. Hibbing will stay in town, take on the Rockford Rockets tomorrow. In the game, Blue Jackets, number five, Reckmeyer. So Reckmeyer comes in for Brow. Brow will take a, a break. He's been hauling with Denneke and uh, Eddie Miles most of the game. Denneke. With it, gets it over to Begali. Begali. That rotation right now by the Huskies. Trying to create something for Danicky. There it is right there and gets the harm. Drew Foyer with a foul. And so Danicky goes to the line. Trying to complete the three-point play. That's his second time. Now with 10 points. Huskies by 10. Reckmeyer. Shadowed by Kopetsky. And that goes off of Kopetsky. Last by the Huskies. Blue Jack Drew Forer with it. Picks up his dribble, tries to get it into Brow, who had uh, about a 30 second breather before he was back in with Denneke. In there. Foul on. On Ray Brow. That'll be his third foul. With, and we've got three minutes left, and uh, Evan. Es Ethan Escalay. Escalay will come in for Brow, who will probably be done for the rest of uh, the half at least. Kind of one of those fouls that, that happened that weren't, it wasn't necessarily, well, it was, it was uh, not necessary, let's put it that way. Into Reckmeyer with speed, brings it up to the front court. Kopetsky. Up his dribbles, Reckmeyer gets it over to Foyer. Four drives into the middle, puts up his shots. That one taken away up to Bengali. Bengali with the jam. Bengali now with 11. Backdoor pass that uh, didn't open. Fenton followed Finn Eskely. That's really the leading scorer for Hibbing right now with the 11. Pichon. Over to Kopetsky, back to Begali. Dishon gets it over to Denneke. Denneke from the stripe. Hands it back to Begali. Begali down to Denneke. Denneke. And just like that, he's got 12 points. Yeah. Bart trying to find someone, gets it to Reckmeyer. And Finley Carey now with it. Followed by Deshaun. Deshaun, strong defense, but a great left handed drop by Finley Carey. That's his first two points of the game, and they were excellent. But Gawley gets it, and a put back by Luke Denneke. Extends the lead to, the, to 14. Huskies will take the 
The ball, 157 left here in the first half. Huskies this year, seven and 13. They've, uh, they've lost four games by six points or less. And, and to be honest, they've got uh, two games, one against Coon Rapids and one against Anoka that I think they wish they had a chance to have back. Pagali over to Strang. Strang looking for his third tray. And Denneke with a strong rebound to Pagali. Pagali off Denneke again with the rebound. Holds it, gets it over to Fenton. Fenton with the three. That one's off. Owen Schmitz with Shadow and Eskely. Four. And a foul on Fenton. That'll be Fenton's first. Looked like there was uh, quite a few steps made. I drew four before, uh, the right before that foul, but. Minute 15 left, Huskies up by 14. Denneke with 14. Begali with 11 for the Huskies. And Eskali, leading scorer, he's got 10. I, I think I said 11 earlier. He has 10 right now. And both the shots missed. By four. Then Eskali gets the roll. Smallest player in the court goes into the trees and has no problem. He's made a couple of nice moves in the paint to be able to score. He's got 12 now. Denneke fouled again. It'll be on Escalie. Finn Escalie, that will be his first foul. But Denneke will go to the line. There are times this season where Denneke has really kind of taken over the game. He is such a good athlete. He's able to get rebounds and just just literally muscle his way to a couple of baskets down there. Strong, athletic kid. Breckmeyer drops it. Strang with it, gets it up to Begali. Begali up to Denneke. Denneke mistimed the jump. Fenton with it over to Begali. Begali from the corner. That one's back higher. Another rebound by Luke Denneke. Down to 13 seconds. Strang with it, drives into the lane. It's a little long. Begali with it. Fenton drains it. With no time left. And the Huskies will go into the break. 48 to 32. Led the way as Luke Denneke with 15 points. The Huskies came out strong with a 12 point tw uh, run, 12 0. And uh, then the lead was cut to four, but the Huskies now built up the lead to 48 to 32. 16 point lead for the Huskies. We'll be back for second half action after halftime here on QCTV. Thanks again for joining us on Friday Night Basketball. I think most teams start with the same goals, ultimately get down to St. Paul at the end of the season. We have a stacked section, um, so I mean, I, I think it's one of the deepest ones in the state. But, you know, ultimately it's just for the girls to come together um, and be able to say that at the end of the season they had no regrets. They just left everything on the ice and they gave it everything they had. I think that this season we're going to succeed because we're going to lean off of each other and learn from each other and we're going to grow from that and have a great team environment. The personality of our team is like honest, a very uplifting environment. It's a very, it's full of girls who are willing to learn from each other and to help each other to succeed more.
Uh, we're all like really good friends and teammates, and we all like, work very hard together. It's gonna, it's gonna be a good mix of some senior leadership uh, with some youth, um, and I think when it all comes together, it's gonna be fun to watch. Watch us this year, you know, see how far we make it. <laughs> Let's go CPCR. <laughs>
So that's very exciting because usually kids have to wait till Friday, Saturday, Sunday to do the rides. But this year, for the first year ever, we're going to kick off the MC Summer Series on that Thursday, June 6th, as part of the four-day Father Hennepin Festival kickoff. And they'll be able to listen to live music for free on the river. Even if you're on West River Road riding rides, you'll be able to hear. And then probably the most exciting announcement is the singer, the artist for the night performing, um, will be Anderson Daniels, our hometown country music favorite. He'll be returning to the crossings for the first time since grand opening, and we're really excited to welcome him back to town and have him kick off our hometown festival in his own hometown. Roundup for Change is a program that was implemented by the Anoka City Council in 2012 and is administered by our utility billing department. What the program does is it rounds up a customer's utility bill to the nearest whole dollar. These funds, which could be as little as one cent to as much as 99 cents per month, are collected and then donated to local organizations to help people in our customers' communities. A single customer will never donate more than 99 cents per month and on average, it's around 50 cents per month per customer that's collected. As of now, we currently have about 40% of our 12,800 customers that are enrolled in the program at an annual donation of $6 per customer. This helps to raise around $30,000 a year. The organizations receiving these funds are selected by the Anoka City Council. They have established that the organizations should provide basic human needs such as food, shelter, and clothing. Cross Services in Rogers, Community Emergency Assistance Programs, which serve our customers in Champlin and Dayton, split the donations received from our Hennepin County customers. The donations received from Anoka County customers in Anoka, Coon Rapids, and Ramsey are split equally between ACBC Food Shelf, Alexandra House, and Anoka Community Mission. We know based on information from the food shelves that one in 12 Minnesotans and one in eight children face food insecurity each day. This could mean skipping a meal to pay for gas or medications, or just not having access to make good food choices. Our customers can make a big impact on people in their communities by donating just a few cents each month. Customers can enroll in the Roundup for Change program in a few different ways. The first would be new customers who call in to set up service, would be asked by our billing utility reps, if they would like to enroll in this program. A few options for existing customers would be to call or email our utility billing reps, visit the City of Anoka's website at anokaminnesota.com, or they're always welcome to stop into City Hall located at 2015 First Avenue and sign up in person. Hi, this is Cole with Anoka County SHIP, and I have a question for you. When was the last time you moved from your seat? Movement makes all the difference in living the healthiest life you can, especially if you're working from home or the office where you're probably sitting down all day. So whether it's getting up for a cup of coffee or walking over to check out the window, a little bit of movement can make a lot of difference for your health. So get up and get moving with Anoka County SHIP every day at goanokacounty.org. Thanks. Welcome back to the second half action of uh, boys basketball here on QCTV. Thanks for joining us again. My name is Jim Childs. The Huskies uh, with a 16 point lead. The pep band is peppy. As uh, the Huskies came out with a 12-0 run to start the game. Hibbing cut it down to four points, 29 to 19, or 23 19. Huskies built that back up as uh, both teams break the huddle starting lineups, uh, both back in. As uh, the Huskies will get the, the ball to start the second half. Deeshan drives in, tries to get it over to Danicky. Danicky. With a jump ball, it'll go to Hibbing. Jump ball, possession arrow, favors Blue Jackets. 
leading scorer was Finn Eskley for the for the Blue Jackets with 10. Foul trouble for the Blue Jackets hit. Ray Brow has three fouls. He's out there. What a tough task against Luke Denneke. Gets it to Brow. Brow turning around, a little baby hook. And Breckmeyer comes in and able to get his first two points. A nice offensive rebound and put back. But Golly, over to Deshaun. Deshaun over to Petsky. And Denneke can't get it through. Nice move. Brown knew they couldn't get aggressive with that with those three fouls. Drive underneath is, is Finley Carey and able to drop it in. And it'll be a foul on Kapetsky. So Finley Carey, we've seen a, had a nice drive in that first half now. The second one, a chance to complete the three-point play. And that one comes up short now. Cuts the lead to 12. Ketsy right from the stripe over to Fenton. Fenton. Deshaun goes down, gets it over to Kopetsky from far corner. That one comes off. Denke, another nice rebound, put back, and Denke now with 17. Carey goes again, gets stonewalled. Meyer, a little short on that, and the uh, rebound rolls off of Denke's hands. It'll go into possession for the Blue Jackets. Ani. We'll take the inbound. That's a little quick shot by four. And Begali now with it. It's up to Kopetsky. Kopetsky drives in back to Begali. Begali takes it and makes it. It's his third free three of the night. Now with 14. Brow. Looks for Reckmeyer. Reckmeyer drives in, hand. Goes up for the shot. He'll get a couple from the stripe. Deshaun will be. So Deshaun, that's his third right now. Fall trouble right now. Kopetsky with three. Deshaun with three. And Brower for the Blue Jackets with three. Reckmeyer. Goes after the bat, he misses both of them. Carey with the offensive rebound and gets his sixth point. Golly, over to Kopetsky. Deshaun drops it down. To Denneke, and Denneke gets some harm. So, Reckmeyer will get to call for his first fall. Denneke goes to the line again. And he's got an even 20. I think he comes way out. Carey with a three-pointer, able to, not able to drop. Deshaun with the nice rebound, gets it into the front court. Kopetsky over to Begali. Begali's feeling it. That one goes off. Danicki in there, right in there again for a nice offensive rebound and put back. He's doubled his number. Number 11's got 22.
Carey, the 6-3 senior. And Brower with a nice little turnaround. Brow with uh, now with 11. Golly drives right in, goes right after it, and this is it. Hibby comes down with a rebound. That's four. Works through a screen right from the elbow and drops it. Four with his first two points. Huskies lead 16. 58-42. Kopetsky gets around Ani. Goes up, hits the rim. Foul column on number on. That'll be on Ethan Ani, the senior. Kapetsky could go to the line. He's sitting right now with seven. Averaging almost 12 on the season. So far right now, Denneke is the only player that has played all 20 contests. Able to drop that first one. Alex completes. Huskies by 18. Carey into the front court. Shadowed by Begali. All-state wide receiver, Brow. Switched on. And Carey gets away with a walk, but uh, able to count it as uh, now eight for Carey. Cuts the lead down to 16. Begali left wide open and drains the three. That's his fourth thrift three so far tonight. Dijon with a tough defense. Reckmeyer with the ball. Screen, little pick and roll. It didn't develop, but now down to Brower. It's in now for down to Brower. And Capetzi will get called for his fourth foul. He climbed up the back of uh, the, the talented freshman. So the Huskies go with a big lineup as uh, Eddie Miles comes in for Kopetsky. And that one did not touch anyone. That'll go Huskies' way. Cameron Magali. Over to Deshaun Magali. He's been hot from the outside. Drives into the center, right from the stripe, elevates. That one goes by. Excellent rebound again by Denneke. Denneke trying to get up. Gets it over to Miles. Now a scrum comes in. Reckmeyer comes up with the ball. There's too many hands in there. Reckmeyer from the elbow. He gets the drive. Now he has four. Huskies by 17, but Golly into the front court. Under 12 now here in the game. Fenton from the seats, and that one's a little short. Evan Bolden comes in for, for Brow. He will. Take a seat for a second. Reckmeyer now the sophomore. 
Gets past Miles. And then Eskley draws the foul. And that'll be on Deshaun. That's his fourth. Oh, uh, thought it was on. So Eskley will go. He's the leading scorer right now with 12. Make it 13. Strangy comes in. He had a couple of nights, threes, and in the first half. Eskely gets the second. Strangy over to Begali. Down to Miles. Miles muscles and gets the call. Chance to complete the three point play. Eddie Miles. Just with good position, you can see right there, able to lift, elevate, and get it over. Eskely, even Eskely now with three fouls. A little pressure from the Huskies. Reckmeyer, the 6'3 sophomore, gets it into the front court. Taken away by Denicky. Denicky comes up. Slows it down. Gets it over to Deshaun. And it'll be a foul. Objects fouls at number two, Nathan Gustafson. Nathan Gustafson, the senior, 5'11 senior from Hibbing, will get his first foul. That'll be the fourth team foul on Hibbing. Both, both sides have 14 fouls. Denneke. It's fouled again by Eskely. Eskely hasn't played a, a whole lot, and he's uh, he's got four fouls right now. <laughs> kind of does the palms up like, what, 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 what do you want me to do? And uh, so he's got now got uh, four fouls. He'll come out. Jack Bottoms will come in, the freshman. Strangy. Strangy with his third three right now. Lead up to 21 for the Huskies. Drives right into the lane, back over to Bolden. Gets it over to Finn Eskely. Eskely drives. See a couple of that taken away by Denneke, but then stolen back by Bolden. Bolden. One goes wide. Deshaun brings it into the front court. Good transition quickly for the Huskies. But Golly with the three. That one's short. And Eskely with the rebound. Denneke and again with the steal. Denneke with the jam. Now sitting with 24. He's got a he's got two dozen. Again, the Huskies with the steal. Miles tries to get a pass. Taken away again by the Blue Jackets. They slow it down. Reckmeyer calls out the offense. It's it over to Bolden. Bolden, one step. A little teardrop and floats that one in. Begali over to Deshaun. Drive, foul again. That'll go on Reckmeyer. It's actually Gustafson on Gustafson. Carry and Brow back in. Stringy over. Kapetsky, Shaw now in. 
And Stringy again. He's got 12, all of them from beyond the arc. Harry drives in with Deshaun on him. Looks for Brower. Brower thinks about taking the three, pulls it down. Bolden with Shaw shadowing him. And a timeout is called by Hibbing. Hey, let's take a look at some of the upcoming schedules. Hibbing, like we mentioned, will stick around in town and uh, Talk to, uh, play, uh, they'll be at Rockford. They'll take on the Rockford Rockets tomorrow. And uh, then on Monday, they, uh, they'll have they'll be at Duluth Marshall. So lots of miles put on for the Hibbing Blue Jackets. And then uh, they'll have three home games, Moose Lake, Willow River, Crosby Ironton, and Rock Ridge. The Huskies. Well, on Monday will be at Blaine, an important section battle, then uh, a tough opponent as they, they go into Park Center. And then they've got three home games, uh, Coon Rapids, Rogers, and Osseo. And foul on Strangy and bucket counted. Jack Bottoms. His fourth point. Husky's up by 22 right now. In all likelihood, as we end up uh, towards the end of the season, as it, it winds down, most likely Hibbing will be uh, visiting Chisago Lakes area for sectional play. Chisago Lakes 14 and 6. Deshaun with the steal. Deshaun into the front court. Drives and gets hacked on the way. Could not get the ball to fall. He'll go to the line for two. Good speed. Deeson was giving a little body English to get that ball to roll in. Free throw misses. See if he can complete it. The second half, the second part. It's one out of two, completes the second half. Sitting with four points now. Carry. Drives pass, a nice drive by Finley Carey. As he's quietly got 10 points now. Kopetsky with it. Miles throws it up, and that one taken away. Brow able to get it over to Carey. Good rebound by Brow. Back to Brow. Brow. Little baby hook gets that one to roll in. Deshaun over to Strangy. Strangy pulls it. That one falls. He's got 15. Bottoms steps on the end line. That'll be Husky ball. Husky's right now battling for fifth, fourth or fifth in uh, the section. That one stole by Finn, and it's stole back by Deeson. Deeson's got four steals so far. Gets it to Shaw. Shaw's stopped right there. Stringy now tries a two. Looks like that might have been blocked by Escalade. Escalade down at the and gets it over to Bottoms. Bottoms with a three-pointer. That one goes off the front of the rim. Deeson now pushing it down to Kopetsky. Kopetsky. Come up with that one. Right from the elbow. Nice, nice pull from 
Drew four, that's point number four for him. Petsky. So back to Deshaun on that one, or roll out of bounds. Huskies by 19 right now, 6.03 left. Pagali. And Deneke back in. Carry a little pick and roll down to Bottoms. Bottoms gets it over to Forer with Deneke on him. That's a little roll by Rickmeyer. Dolly slows it down. Kopetsky with the three. Shorten, another rebound by Deneke. Deneke gets out muscled by Finn. <laughs> And that was a frustration foul by Deneke. Finn Eskely takes the ball away from, from, from Deneke. The, ju the junior. Who's had a night tonight. He's got 14 points. He's the leading scorer right now for... for the uh, Blue Jackets. Kopetsky from the corner. That one's long. Collected by four. Four. Pushing the tempo a little bit. Carey slows it down. Drives the end of the middle. That one gets, gets hammered pretty hard by Deneke. That'll be foul number three on Deneke. Addison carried to the line. Huskies foul number 11, Luke Deneke, his third, seventh team foul on the line for the Blue Jackets, shooting two shots, number four. Tried to get the ball, but uh, got the arm instead. Into the game for the Blue Jackets, number 33, Ray Brown, number 11, Ethan Ani. Ethan Ani now in, along with Ray Brown, back in. Reckmeyer will take a seat along with Finn Eskley. Rebound by Deneke. Kopetsky gets around. Can't get it by Bauer again. It's Deneke again with that rebound. And it'll be a foul on Brower, or uh, four. Blue Jackets foul is number three. Golly, short on the front front end, and Bottoms able to get the rebound. Down to Brower, Brow, Brow. unable to get it. Danicky had another rebound. Fenton with a three, hard off the back iron. Danicky again with the rebound. Strangy not able to get, put it in. A little bit of a drought right now for the Huskies. Carry on the cut. And it'll be a foul on Deneke. That'll be foul number four. Very little long on the first of two. He's got 11 points right now. Came in averaging 13. Kopetsky with a nice drive. He's got 11 now. Ani over to Bauer, Brow. That pass deflected, Strangy with it. 
Up to Kopetsky, gets the hoop in the arm. Kopetsky. Kopetsky go to the line. Alex now with uh, 13, trying to get to 14. That went short. Escalie now with it. Nowhere to go with that. Four with the three that rims out up to Kopetsky. Kopetsky unable to get past Carey and Fenton short on, and uh, that will go off of Owen Schmitz. That'll be Blue Jacket ball. Huskies up by 21. 307 left here in the second half. Brower with a nice little blocked by Denneke. Denneke's had a game. Stringer. Over to Fenton. Fenton drives in. Over to Bagali. Bagali back to Stringy. Tries a three. That one goes off. That one. Taken now by Fenton. Bacali drives in. And offensive foul. Offensive foul on Huskies number one, Cameron Bacali, his third, 19 foul into the game for the Blue Jackets. Number two, Nathan Gustafson into the game for the Huskies. Number 30, Caden Raisler. Caden Raisler in for the Huskies. <laughs> He'll be in the backcourt along with Kopetsky. Stringy with the steal. Down to Kopetsky. Kopetsky drives. Able to get the harm again. It drops. Kopetsky's been. He's been the guy. So Matt Grease in for the Huskies, along with Jack Brandell. Kopetsky short again on the, trying to finish that three-point play. Reckmeyer, Huskies up by 23. Brower with a nice move past Schmitz and able to kiss it off the glass. Randell over to Kopetsky. Grease down to Stringy. Kopetsky. Fifteen on the shot. Kopetsky with the drive and a nice finish on that one. Kopetsky now with seventeen. Kopetsky. <laughs> to Grease. Grease tries to get it up and he's fouled. It'll be two shots for Matt Grease. Who's the ball? Finn Escalade is second. At the line, the Huskies shooting two shots. Number three, Matt Reese. Reese able to get the roll. In the game, the Jacks, number 24, Finn Escalade, number 10, Gavin Maxwell. In the game for the Huskies, number 13, Jack Brandle. Number 24, Nolan Papier. And number 33, Ryan Rock. Ryan Rock in for the Huskies. With Matt Grease reset the whole lineup. Nate, Nate Potvain in. Then Escalade short on that one, taken away by Raisler. Raisler drives, gets it back to Grease. Shot. Here, nothing but 
Nylon on that one as Caden Racer scores his first three points. The sophomore. And getting the ball back was Rack. And he puts it up again. That one goes off the rim. Two shots. And it'll be a foul on race. Though. Actually, it'll be a jump ball. Husky ball. Colton Miller will come in for the Huskies. Along with... Layden Scheffenbein. Joseph Masson in as well. Young lineup now with Huskies up 28. And Mason Eckes in as well. Rack with it off the back iron collected by the Huskies. Rack again, drives in. Nice offensive rebound, can't get that one to go as Miller drives it. 14 seconds left in this game, and that will roll out. Blaine Raisler will come in as well right now. So varsity action by a lot of Huskies tonight uh, in this 28 right now point uh, lead as it will turn into a victory for the Huskies. They'll move to eight and 13. Shot by Miller, that one short. And that's, uh, that's it. Huskies move to eight and 13 with a 91-63 win over the Blue Jackets. Huskies will be back in action again against Blaine on Monday. And a big Section 7 and Northwest Suburban Conference matchup against the Bengals. Once again, the final here, 91-63. Thanks again for joining us here. Great job by the crew here as Tuan Xing and uh, Anthony here. And uh, Mark and Tyler back at uh, the home office in Champlin. We appreciate you visiting us and uh, watching tonight. And once again, a good Husky win. And uh, we hope you have a pleasant weekend. Good night from Andover High School.